You've known each other from the very first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in the car, over a meal or during long walks, and all those conversations that began with when we are married and continued with I will and you will and we will, all those late night talks that included someday, somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these things and more are the real process of wedding. These symbolic vows that you're about to make are the way of saying to each other, you know all these things that we've promised and hoped for and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another in these past few years. Shortly, we'll say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life. And these things will never be quite the same again. For you, after today, you will say to this world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, Bo Kenneth Rankin, take thee, Louise Carr, to be my lawful wedded wife. I, Louise Carr, take thee, Bo Kenneth Rankin, to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love you tenderly. To cherish and respect you. To comfort you with my gentleness. And support you with my strength. I promise to walk with you. Facing life together. Wherever it may take us. To live together in love and harmony. To cherish and care for you. Whatever the future may bring. I don't know how you are so familiar to me, or why it feels like I'm getting to know you more, as though I'm remembering who you are. How every smile, every whisper, brings me closer to the impossible conclusion that I have known you before. I have loved you before, in another time, a different place, or some other existence. Isn't it nice? What a lovely setting, lovely, beautiful day. Louise looks bonnieful, and so does Bo. <laughs> <laughs> but what a lovely day it is for everybody to be here. And uh, so, uh, it's just nice to be here. Wishing you all the very best of health, love, and happiness in the future. Both is. Nice to see everyone. Uh, I know just about everyone in the room, but for those who I don't know, I'm Sam, I'm Bo's best man. Uh, it's been an absolute honour to be here today. Uh, and now giving a speech that I wrote about half an hour ago on the back of a napkin. Uh, I'm joking because Louise made me sort of submit five drafts of this. <laughs> Give extensive notes on each of them, uh, and this was the one she hated the least, so it's, it's the one that you're getting. Uh, I've known Bourne now since nursery we first met, so that's about 20 years. I've liked him for about half of them. Uh, so 50% of it is not bad. Uh, he's really grown as a person since he's been with Louise uh, all those time ago at school. Uh, not literally, he's still a short arse. Uh, but I think you could generously now just about call him a fully functioning adult. Uh, gone are the times of sort of cooking a, a nice chilli stir-fry and then rubbing your eyes straight away, uh, having to hold my hand as we, we go over the top of a roller coaster, those sort of things. Times of the past. But I've been thinking hard while I was writing this speech about why they are so, work so well as a couple, why they've sort of stayed together since school. And I think it's because they both complement each other so well as people. Bo plays the hard man, but is one of the biggest softies that I know. Louise looks like an absolute softy, but is really hard as nails. <laughs> I was asked the other day, my mum asked me how I'll deal with my best friend getting married. First thought was which one? Um, both of these are two of the people who I'm closest with in the entire world, uh, and, and that's going to continue for, for many years to come. This today isn't the start of something new, it's a chance for everyone to celebrate what's come before and what's going to come in the future. And I know I and everyone in the room will be along every step of the way with you. All right, so I haven't wrote a whole lot. Actually, I wrote this this morning. Um, 
after a few of the lads convinced me that winging it wasn't appropriate. <laughs> and to everyone else, our friends and family who came to join us today, I just want to say thank you for being here with us, sharing in this moment, and the love and support that you've shown us. We truly appreciate it. Uh, to Louise, my beautiful wife, I try every day to tell you how beautiful you are and how much I love you. And that sentiment has never rung as true or as loud as it has today. And I will cherish every moment of today for the rest of our lives together.